Hello and welcome back to our channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today. The Central Bank of Iraq CBI auctioned more than $197 million on Monday with remittances outweighing cash sales by a huge margin. The CBI sold a total of $197,727,483 during today's auction. The bank covered these transactions at a base exchange rate of 1,305 dinars per dollar for documentary credits and international settlements of electronic cards, while the rate stood at 1,310 dinars per dollar for foreign transfers and cash transactions. Our correspondent explained that the majority of the sales were directed towards bolstering foreign balances in the form of transfers and credits, amounting to 172,357,483 dollars. The remaining 25,370,000 dollars were allocated for cash deals. Cash deals were made by seven banks, while 20 banks met the requests relevant to foreign balances. A total of 89 exchange and brokerage companies took part in the auction. Iraq's financial and economic advisor to the Prime Minister, Mujar Mohammad Saleh, commented on Iraq achieving its largest trade surplus in 2022 over the past 10 years, stating that it serves three main objectives. Statistics from the German company Statista revealed today that Iraq achieved its largest trade surplus for the past 10 years in 2022. Saleh, in an interview with Shafak News Agency, explained the significance of the increase in the current account surplus in strengthening economic stability, represented by price stability, foreign reserves, and their role in monetary policy to combat harmful inflation and ensure the purchasing power of incomes. He added, the increase in the surplus percentage in the current account of the balance of payments to the gross domestic product, GDP, provides financial capacity towards achieving sustainability in investment spending, which is the basis for targeted economic growth without expanding external borrowing. Furthermore, he pointed out that the rise in the mentioned surplus on the level of financial stability and fiscal balance represents an important and essential step towards achieving what is known as fiscal discipline. This discipline includes reducing external public debt and taking subsequent steps required by fiscal policy in reducing the budget deficit gap and moving towards budget balance. Reducing public debt and decreasing the deficit are the two key elements of fiscal discipline or financial reinforcement. He concluded by saying that the surplus in the balance of payments current account achieves three main objectives, price stability, financial balance, and targeted economic growth. He trade balance reflects the differences between a country's imports and exports of goods during a year. If the total value of exports exceeds the total value of imports during a period, it is referred to as a trade surplus, while if the total value of imports surpasses the total value of exports, it is called a trade deficit. According to Statista's data, Iraq achieved its highest trade surplus for goods in 2022 over the past 10 years, with a surplus of $53.54 billion, marking a 64% increase compared to 2021 when the trade surplus for goods was $20.08 billion. The report further stated that Iraq experienced a trade deficit in two years, in 2020, when the deficit reached $4.11 billion, and in 2015, when the trade deficit was $0.94 billion. In 2019, Iraq achieved a trade surplus of $16.62 billion, and in 2018, the trade surplus was $35.95 billion. In 2017, the trade surplus reached $15.1 billion, while in 2012, it was $35.39 billion. In the past year, 2022, Iraq recorded financial revenues of over $115 billion from crude oil exports, the highest in years, according to official figures released by the Iraqi Ministry of Oil. The figures revealed that the daily export rate averaged 3.32 million barrels, totaling 1.211 billion barrels for the entire year. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more new videos.